This is a 17 inch poplar, also called an aspen. It's about 50 feet from one of our string of beaver ponds. As you can see, the beavers have started to gnaw at it. Uh, they've used up a lot of the favorite trees that are smaller and closer to the water. So they're having to come further afield because they've degraded their habitat and they have to go over and try and take down these uh, larger poplars. Um, I'm very fond of our beavers, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it down for them and transport a lot of the top branches directly to their lodge area, save them some work. But in the process, I uh, also want to do an experiment. Um, I'll let you take part in it by guessing. What I'm going to do is cut it and notch it. And then up top I have some ropes that I'm going to use to gradually lower it and we'll see when the hinge fails. So take a guess as to what net angle the tree will lean to before the hinge totally fails. I'm going to guess about 37 degrees, but I stress the word guess. You can see where I spiked my way up the tree. Got up to about 25 feet and there I fastened this blue line and that's going to be purely to help pull the tree over. A little further up at about 30 feet there's a reddish orange line and that goes back to a second tree, also a large poplar and that's going to act as a spar. That uh, is fastened, that orange line comes down and is fastened down at the base to a porter wrap. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that out about one foot at a time and keep track of the angle on the tree to see when the cut tree actually uh, has its uh, hinge fail. So at the moment the uh, blue line goes out to that, uh, let's see, I guess that's a red maple tree, and we'll use that to pull and to start the, uh, the poplar moving in the right direction. Up there you can see what we'll belay the uh, cut poplar with. We've got a uh, large arborist pulley uh, fastened to that tree, and the orange line comes down, and we've got a quarter wrap uh, pitched around the base. So that's where we'll be letting out the line to let the cut poplar fall. Now we don't want this spar tree to get pulled over by the weight of that large falling uh, poplar. So there's another line, a little bit redder, that goes back, goes down, and back in the woods there. You can see it's uh, anchored around the base of a, about a 24 inch pine tree. So that's to prevent the uh, spar poplar from getting pulled over. This figure shows a profile of the trees involved. The blue line is merely to help pull the tree down to get it started. The orange line is the belay to ensure that we're gradually lowering the tree and the spar tree is to give us something to anchor the pulley to so that we can gradually do the lowering. The red line keeps the spar tree from being pulled over, goes back to the anchor pine. Looking from above, this plan view shows the intentional misalignment of some of the ropes and the directions of force. The hinge has been cut so that the tree will fall pretty much straight towards the uh, supporting tree parallel to the blue line. The orange line, which is serving as the belay, is slightly off that line. And if we look at the top part of this figure, we can see the expansion of what that belay line has as forces. Most of the force will be a tension component back towards the anchor tree, but a minor part of that uh, force will actually be perpendicular 
to the tree that we're cutting down and will approximate the lean force. So when the hinge gets bent enough, that lean force should cause the tree to fall sideways. Okay, picking up the action again. We've cut a notch and we've made a back cut. And let's see, I don't know if you can quite make that out, but uh, that uh, angle level is showing 82.8, .8, which means it's come 7.2 degrees off of vertical. So I'm going to set this on a tripod and uh, let you get a close up of just how the hinge behaves. I've chopped away some of the bark so we can see the uh, cracking develop and uh, I'll be letting out a foot at a time off the porter wrap and we'll see what angle this breaks. It should fall um, away from the camera because the pull is a little bit off, the back pull that is, is a little bit off from the hinge direction so effectively it's acting as a lean force. Okay, we're at uh, 77.8, so that's 12.2 degrees. Seventy-four point two. So 15.8 degrees. Seventy point or seventy point zero, so twenty degrees of lean. Sixty six point eight, so twenty three, okay, point seven point three degrees. Sixty three point four, so twenty seven point six degrees. Okay, now we're at uh, sixty point nine, so we've gone through twenty nine point one degrees of lean. Fifty seven point five, so thirty two point six degrees. Thirty six degrees. Thirty 
I'm going to call that 37 degrees just because I like to win.